Now that you have an understanding of when and why to use animation, let's explore some of the essential concepts and technologies at your fingertips. To start, we're going to take a look at different styles of animation. For example, we have the ability to add entrance, emphasis, or exit effects. Let's illustrate this concept. I'll select my drawing here, and under animations, there are several choices. You can see a preview by clicking, and it will simulate what's going to happen. Let's open this up a bit, though. Clicking the down arrow, I could show different types of animation and it makes it easy to see what's happening. Once you choose a particular animation, you'll notice that you could adjust things like the timing for that animation. For example, I made this one a bit slower. Let's open up the animation pane and click play to see it. Well, that's working pretty well. And that's an example of an entrance effect. If you want to see more effects, a quick way to do that is to click the More button to disclose this. And you'll see a lot of the most common effects. They're organized by their major categories, which include entrance for revealing something, emphasis to change how it behaves on the screen and add a bit of emphasis, such as as you're fading through items, or exit animations to apply a transition as it leaves. Additionally, you could add motion paths for a more custom animation. But these aren't all the choices that you have. You'll notice that you could choose, for example, more entrance effects. And this gives you several additional options. Clicking will show you what it's going to look like. And you see a wide range. Let's go with Peek In and click OK to apply it. Now that we have that applied, I'll go to the next slide. In this case, I've split the artwork apart so that there's different elements. So I'll add some emphasis animations. And let's take a look here at the emphasis effects. You see as we click on different ones, some of them work well. In this case, the color pulse doesn't because it adds a weird box around the object, but others do work. Now with a round circle, you won't see spin, but you might notice the grow or the ability to have it pulse. Now let's apply that by clicking OK. And now we'll take that animation, click the animation painter, and apply it to the other objects. Now all three of these have a little slight emphasis added to the bubbles.